A well-known street vendor in Rogers Park who died from COVID-19 contracted the virus just days before he was scheduled to get his first dose of the vaccine. WGN's Kelly Davis joins us live to share his story. Kelly. Hey, Taman and Jackie, family and friends have come out here today to the corner of Clark and Rogers to pay their respects to this infamous man right behind me. This is the corner where he had his street corn street food set up and he was out here for about 10 years handing out his famous street corn to people in this community. Felipe Vallarta and his wife are well known in Rogers Park. The 61 year old contracted COVID-19 in early April. He was hospitalized soon after, put on a ventilator and into a medically induced coma. On Friday, his family paid him one last visit before he died. They tell me Vallarta struggled to find appointments to get the COVID-19 vaccine despite his age and underlying health conditions. He finally got one scheduled for April 17th, but he got sick the week prior. He tried to get it at the same time as my grandma. Unfortunately, they had to do it at different times. It took him about a month to actually get the appointment. And as soon as he got it, you know, unfortunately, COVID beat him to the vaccine. We don't know. Maybe this vaccine could have saved his life. It's just so unfortunate. Vallarta and his wife started selling the elotes on the corner of Rogers and Clark since 2015. The two are longtime residents of the neighborhood after immigrating from Puebla, Mexico more than 20 years ago. And there was a GoFundMe page set up to help pay for his medical expenses and told hundreds of people made generous donations to that page. And now the family says they plan to use it for funeral expenses as well as part of his burial back home in Mexico. Live in Rogers Park, I'm Kelly Davis, WGN News.